Hi guys, so this is Charlotte from Charlotte's Animal Services here. I hope you're all well. Um, so I'm just going to give you another quick hack tip. So I don't know if any of you have got rabbits or guinea pigs at home. And when they go to the toilet a lot, you'll get like a build up in the cage. It'll be white from the urine. Um, and then eventually it might start to go quite like brown in the same place. And you'll try scrubbing it and scrubbing it with a different range of different hutch cleaners. That'll help a bit. It'll take most of it off. But there's always quite um, a build-up there. So what I use is, um tend to use litter trays where I can to save um, work. So it makes it a lot easier for me cleaning up with the rabbits. So what you need to get is some ordinary distilled vinegar. So there we go. We have got our distilled vinegar and you just need to i'm going to hold it up here so this is just an outhouse so if you're wondering what all the method is where we do like a lot of cleaning and you're just going to pour it in there we go hopefully you can see there we go so lots in there we go uh so i just want to leave it for a few minutes you'll see that it's like sort of fizzing it's not very exciting but there we go so let that do its work for a couple of minutes and you'll see that it um helps to take it off so yeah don't worry if you see it like fizzing or hissing a bit it's just the chemical reaction what's happening there we go so that's doing its work so next we need um like a kitchen sponge with an old scour it's gonna put you up there there we go and then you can just give it a bit of a rub there we go as it reacts like obviously this is really quick because you guys are watching and you you might need to do it more than once or leave it like it doesn't always get it all but it does really help so just giving that a rub over now try and loosen your really build up bits I know it's a bit boring. Let me just pop you down for a minute. So, we did our water bottle hack, didn't we? So now this is like a hutch cleaning hack for guinea pigs and uh, rabbits. If you're ever wondering what to use for cleaning your bit and sure like vinegar is a great natural cleaner. If you ever get like mildew in hutches as well when you've had like the sheets over uh, to keep it like warm in winter and dry, you can sometimes get a white mildew. It's, it's kind of mould but it's um, not as dangerous as obviously normal mould. Um, you might not want to use some of the heavy duty um, mould killers out there. And you can just get that on a cloth, give it a wipe over your hutch and it will take it off. Um, it normally stops it from coming back. Obviously you might need a couple of goes. Um, but that's a really good another hack for cleaning with uh, natural vinegar as well. Um, and it's normally where the hutch has been like a change in temperature. And it's where um, like it's sort of sweated. So this hasn't worked as well as sometimes, but obviously there was a really big build-up and I probably didn't let it soak quite as long. Like, I'd normally leave it and go off. You can make a cup of tea or something and then you come back to it. So this one hasn't been left that long, but um, you kind of get the idea anyway. So I'm going to just pour it out down the drain there. And you can see it has made some difference. I would give it a rinse out as well with some water just to neutralise it a bit before um, you give it back to your pet. So I'll just give it a quick swill out. I can feel the vinegar. There's quite a lot of vinegar on my hand there. There we go. So that is exactly the same tray. And if I flip... Oh, I think I've lost you there me and technology so this is like a follow-up clip but you can now see obviously that tray is looking a lot lot cleaner I haven't got it all out so i'm just gonna put some more vinegar in and give it a little soak but it has definitely definitely helped the situation as i said it 
wasn't soaking for as long as possible it's nor more just where the stubborn brown bits have been all the white bits gone that bit in the middle is where an old sticky label's been and um it's never come off properly you can see if you tried to scrape it but it's very sticky but then it's smooth on top as well it's a bit odd so don't worry that's not going to come off